Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Leighton Croft from Pan Continental Resources. How are you today, Leighton? I'm well, Tracy. Thanks. How are you? Leighton, this, your stock charts look phenomenal over the last year, and it's my understanding you have an unusual containment number, containment volume for your copper, nickel, and cobalt. Can you talk to me about this, please? At our advanced stage McBride project in southeastern Ontario, which is nickel, cobalt, copper, it has more than $700 million in contained metal value based on an historic resource of 5.1 million tons, which was defined in the 60s and 70s. Well, I understand this is really rare, okay? And we have a lot of investors out there, they're going, containment volume, what is that? Can you explain this to us a little bit more? Because those numbers sound impressive, but what does this mean? Well, I think what's rare is for an ex a junior exploration company of our size to already have a deposit. And in the case of the McBride project, it's actually two deposits. So by contained metal value, we're talking about the gross metal value if you look at the amount of resources on an historic basis, pre-43-101, and the grades that were defined by the previous operator, Long Lack Minerals, which was a very reputable company, and you do the math based on current market prices, that's where you come up with these numbers. Now the numbers are notional. They don't take into account recoverability and other factors, but they're very indicative of how much value is contained in the ground today. And again, for a, a junior exploration company, it's very unusual. Okay, but this is overall a very interesting company, Junior, as well. It's very exceptional. We, you've brought a team together that's done this before. So tell us a little bit about your team and what you plan on doing with Pan Continental. Right, Tracy. So over the past six months, we've picked up two nickel cobalt copper projects in Ontario. In both cases, we optioned them from two different companies. In both of those cases, the people that we did the deals with are now the project managers on the ground, and they're both very experienced exploration geologists who know these projects between 20 and 25 years. And so I think that's a very unique way to, to generate projects. Well, we love copper. We believe that's the top technology metal. We believe it deserves a lot more attention. Mm. But let's talk about cobalt, mm. because cobalt you know, the prices are through the roof, the demand is fantastic, but the stocks are kind of languishing right now. Tell us about your cobalt deposit and why, with all the competitors out there, we should look at pan-continental before anybody else. First of all, it's the fact that these are nickel-hosted cobalt deposits. They're not silver-hosted or other. Second, they're in Ontario, a safe jurisdiction, unlike other jurisdictions where cobalt is prolific in the world. So give me kind of an overview of what Pan Continental is for our audience. Pan Continental is a junior battery metals exploration company focused on two cobalt nickel copper projects in Ontario, one of which is early stage and has three different properties. As those get explored and developed and we see what happens, they may become two separate projects in and of themselves. Importantly, we like to find projects that are in the shadow of a head frame. We like to be near former or existing mines. In the case of Montcalm West, we are next to Montcalm Mine, which is owned by Glencore. In the case of McBride, we are in the former Bancroft Mining District, and that is an advanced stage project, which, like I've said, has more than $700 million of contained metal value today based on the historic resources. So you have the battery metals, you have the team, and you have the location, and this company actually has cash in the bank. What should we expect, say, in the next quarter or two? On the advanced stage McBride project, we are going to do a 43101 compliant resource estimate because, as I've been saying, we have 5.1 million tons of historic resources, but that was before the 43101 system. So we're going to validate those, and we're working right now with P&E Consulting on that. On the Montcalm West project, we are doing airborne geophysics right now on the large Gabbro-hosted Montcalm property and soil sampling and rock assaying on the primary cobalt Nova project, which is very interesting. Well, Leighton, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Tracy.